So what are we going to do first? The skeletal system. Give him a round of applause. <laughs> hey, Curtis. Yeah. Y you know what? What? You have the skeleton, but you don't have the stand. I figured he wanted to get off the stand for a little while. Well, you know what? I paid $500 for that skeleton, the stand. I'll be on. gentle. I'll you be, be gentle. careful. Don't worry. Don't, don't. You just push his head down. 500 bucks. It'll come out of your salary. Okay. So be very careful with it. Now, see, Curtis is holding a skeleton here. Everybody in the room has one of these inside of them. It's usually much bigger than that. Ooh. Ah. So, see, your jokes just aren't going good. So you, this is where you just... They'll get better, I promise. You promise, okay. Now, see, our, our skeletal system is like the framework on a house or a building. It's what keeps us upright and standing. No. no. Superman. $500 Superman. Just whoop, straight. There you go. Now, unlike a house or a building, our framework has to be able to move. We do this through a... Si yeah, no. Stop. Stop. Yeah, it has to be able to move. We do this through a series of joints and hinges. Curtis, yeah. you're pretty simple. Show us a simple hinge. <laughs> There's a simple hinge right here in the elbow. In the elbow. We got one in the knee. Too, in the right knee, there. right. So... That doesn't allow us to do much. Well, allow some mobility. In fact, uh. you find this type of hinge all over your house. You'll find them on doors going to your bedroom, front room, cupboards. Your toilet seat. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, I know. They're, they're there. But how would you know that? You haven't had a toilet seat forever. I bought a pretty pink one with flowers. <laughs> Looks nice. With Still it. smells bad, though, in there, I bet. Yeah. So, all right. Now, for more mobility, we need something more complicated, something called a ball and socket joint. Curtis, show us one of those. There's one here in the shoulder. Hey. <laughs> that wasn't supposed to happen. Uh, I paid five hundred dollars for that. What are you doing? I'm okay. I swear. <laughs> you know what? I didn't even see his lips move. That's pretty good. He's a ventriloquist. He doesn't have lips, so <laughs> that's why. Better. Show us another ball and socket joint. There's another ball and socket joint right there in the hip. Yeah, don't, do don't spin it so fast. Just, yeah, there you go, 500 bucks. Yeah. Mm. There. Do you know what the most flexible part of your skeleton system is? No, no, something we haven't talked about. Take a guess. Curtis gives the answer a lot. Your head, yeah. did you give the answer? No, I didn't. I was standing here holding on to the spine. She said... The head, she got it. Right. And I'm glad you finally got a spine. So, <laughs> well, see, actually, the head is just, you know, it, it's really not the most flexible part. It's flexible because it sits on top of the spinal column, which is the. <laughs> They're going like this. They're telling me to turn around. Well, no, turning. they're telling you to turn it right side up. You've got it upside down. Those are the eyes, right? <laughs> no. <laughs> not the eyes yet. Oops. There you go. Now, Thank you, guys. Now, remember the little skeleton? $500. This is actual size. That's 1000 be very be gentle. No, 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 no. There, you, that's what that hooks for. There you go. Now, Chelsea, it's actually not the head; it's the neck. Now, trick question here: Don't say anything. Why? What, what type of hinge or joint do you think holds the skull to the neck? Nothing. Did you know that? No, he's given the. All uh, right. Yeah, nothing is correct. It was a trick question. The skull actually just sits on top of the spinal column. Now, this. What are you doing? Spinal tap. <laughs> <laughs> it was a good joke. They laughed. They, they got it? Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Now, anyways, the spinal column is made up of 26 bones called the vertebrae. Now, inside of the vertebrae is what, Curtis? The spinal cord. Which does what? It's the information link from the brain to the rest of your body. So, so tell you, you like when I do that. <laughs> oh, it's on. No, thousand bucks. <laughs> right there. You're no fun. Now, as I was saying, the head is the most flexible part because it's on the neck. Up until today, about as far as you could turn your head would be about this far over here, about this far over here, but you can't turn it all the way around until today. I have come up with an experiment. I'm going to take somebody from the audience. I'm going to stick them inside that box. Curtis, would you bring the box out on the floor? Sure. Yeah. Now, this is dangerous. I've never done it before, but I'm going to put someone in the box, and I'm going to twist their head around one full turn, 360 degrees, it is a little dangerous. Your head could pop off. So, you know what? Put your hands down. Put your hands because I really don't want to hurt anybody in the audience. This is very dangerous. So, we're going to stick Curtis in the box. Curtis, <laughs> get in the box. No, no, no. They don't, you guys don't want to see me get in the box. I'm just seeing. Yeah, yeah. Get in the you box. You guys want to see the big magician man get in the box. No, get in the box. Loser. Yes, get in the box. You're the assistant. No. 
excuse me, guys, just for a second. We're going to have to handle this like men. I'm not going to hit you. Rock, paper, scissors. Okay, you ready? Okay. You, you know how it works, right? Rock, paper, paper scissors. scissors. Okay, ready? Okay. Ready? ready? One, two, three. Ha! Missile blows up rock. Boom. Rock, paper, scissors, no missile, so we have to do it again. Yeah, no dynamite either. So here we go. Ready? Rock, paper, scissors. One. <laughs> Sorry. All right, I'd like everybody to look over at that wall real quick. Okay, now everybody look over at that wall. Now everybody look behind you. Wait, you guys see what you had to do? You had to shift out of your seat in order to see what's going on behind you because our head doesn't turn that far, but an owl can actually turn its head 260 degrees so we can see what's going on behind him. We're going to add 100 degrees onto that and spin Chris's head 360. Are you ready? Yes. You ready? Now, before you do this, you need to loosen my neck up one time only. Okay, you ready? You're going to loosen your neck up a little bit here. And here we go. Oh, 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 oh. One time. Who wants to see it twice? No! Two times, two times, no! two times. Bye, Chris. Ah, oh, ah, oh, ah, oh, ah. Oh. Oh. Three times. Three times. Ah, oh. ah, oh. ah. Oh. Oh. I'm Get tired of looking here. at him. Get me out here. I'll Bye, Chris. Oh. Okay, so now that Chris is gone, we really don't have to. Ah! Chris! The chain, ow! Oh, Chris! Oh. Are you okay? No. I'm sorry. That was cool. <laughs> okay, how many times did we spin his head? We spun it four times, right? Four times 360. It's a lot of degrees. Oh, no. Yeah. Everybody give Chris a round of applause. Thank you.